To properly weigh a garage door, let's start with the equipment we will need. For a torsion spring door, we'll need winding bars, 3 8 wrench or socket assembly, a standard bathroom scale, and the counterbalance lever arm. For an extension spring door, we'll need the same equipment, but we will not need the winding bars, but we will need some additional vice grips on hand. Now, regardless of which counterbalance assembly you have, we'll be releasing the tension of the counterbalance assembly so that we have the door's dead weight. Also, we'll stage all equipment on the inside of the garage door so that we can read all the equipment from the inside as you will not have access to the outside with the door disabled for weighing. For the extension spring doors, you'll need to have the door in the open position. You'll secure the door in the open position with the vice grips in the track and release the cables on both sides of the door. Before you lower the door, place the lever arm in the center of the opening where the door will close upon the lever arm and the other end will rest on the bathroom scale. Once free of the cables, release the vice grips and slowly close the door on top of the lever arm. Be careful as you'll have the entire weight of the door and may need additional people to safely close the door onto the lever arm. For a torsion spring garage door assembly, we will place the scale and lever arm into position while the door is in the open position. So we place the lever arm in the center of the opening, we'll release any opener from the door and manually close the garage door onto the lever arm and scale. With the door in the closed position and on the scale, we will then release the tension of the springs, allowing for the door's entire weight to be pressing against the lever arm and onto the scale. Now that we have the door in the down position with the full weight on top of our lever arm and scale, we need to make sure the door is not caught on any part of the opening. Once that is done, you can take your reading. We're going to take the weight shown on the scale and multiply that number times five to determine the door's weight. Remember that because we are using a lever arm, the weight shown on the scale is just a portion of the weight and that is why we multiply it by five. We recommend lifting the door and redoing the weight three times to make sure you have the correct weight. The reason we use a lever arm also is so that we don't overpower the scale. Using a household bathroom scale makes for a more accessible, less expensive option compared to the higher commercial scales. Now, after you have completed the three measurements, you now have the proper weight of the garage door. Be sure to write the weight down on your job ticket or somewhere on the work order so it's not forgotten or misplaced. Now, it's time to place the tension back onto your counterbalance assembly and return the door to fully operational status. So you have now successfully and properly weighed a garage door. This will be a process every garage door technician checks repeatedly throughout their career.